It's time to save a life. All right, so ladies, um, welcome. Our NCLEX prep and nursing clinical review course. I'm going to be reading a report to you. Today you're taking care of Mrs. Samuela Carter. She's 72 years of age, 82 kilograms. Her diagnosis is symptomatic bradycardia. When EMS found her, her heart rate was 40. She has no known drug allergies. Um, the brief history we received from the paramedics is that she was found diaphoretic, dizzy, and complaining of near syncope. We were able to get a stat EKG and it showed sinus bradycardia at 38. We have orders for IV atropine and a fluid bolus. The last set of vital signs, let me know when you're ready. The blood pressure was 86 over 50. Heart rate was 42. Respiratory rate was 18. Temperature 98.4. And the O2 sat was 92% on room air. Here are your physician orders. I'll give you about two minutes to review the orders. I'll be working as your assistant. I'll be your LPN. And so who's the charge nurse? I am. Who's the nurse? Yeah. Okay. And so you two will have to delegate orders. The charge nurse will delegate the orders um, that the nurse and the LPN will actually complete. This is a safe learning environment. You're allowed to make mistakes. I want you to treat this as if this is a real patient. Um, do everything you would do for a real patient. We have additional supplies, stethoscopes, blood pressure cuffs. We have whatever you need. If you don't call out for something, it may be here, but as your assistant, I won't know if you need it if you don't tell me. Can I get you all to go to the door? Ms. Carter, Ms. Carter, are you okay? Are you okay, Ms. Carter? Help in room 305. I need help in room 305. Look, we know that nursing school is tough. And now that you're a new nurse, it can feel like you don't know what you are doing. We've been there. Every nurse has. That's why at Florida Train Academy, we've created the Nursing Clinical Skills Lab, a safe place where new nurses and practicing nurses can boost their skills, build confidence, and thrive in their careers. You don't have to figure it out alone. We're here to support you every step of the way. Visit fltraining.com today and take your next step towards nursing success. Yeah, Ms. Carter, Ms. Carter, is okay? We're going to start, go ahead and um, grab, we're going to start doing, um, so, is she breathing and does she oh. have a pulse? Remember, we're not changing your scenario. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so she does have a pulse. She does have a pulse. Okay. And so, is she, she is breathing. All right, okay. and so don't you all have orders for her? Yeah, we have order of IV atrophy holding. Can I get a set of vitals? Yes, you can. Her um, O2 set, oh, we had pulse socks. So your, your charge nurse is doing the assessment. Your charge nurse has to go. Her O2 set is 92%. Her blood pressure is 88 over 60. And her heart rate is 42. So you wouldn't be watching her do her assessment. You would be drawing up your medications. Take your order. One, one milligram. Take your order. And so that's not the radio pulse. And so in an emergency, it's not a radio pulse. Oh, the carotid. Okay. 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 Okay.
and apical. We're just at the scope. Put on gloves, and I saw you drop that needle, so I'd like you switching it out. Apical, go unlift up her gown, apical. And so you be documenting as you're going because you're not going to remember all of this. We have five signs. We have blood pressure, eight, six, seven, fifteen. Ocho says 92%. What would you like me to do? Can we get some oxygen, please? Okay. What else is wrong? What else is wrong? Look at her positioning. Um, can we lift her head up? You can. You're right there. I'll leave. There you go. Sit her all the way up. And keep trying to talk to her. Miss Samuela, you doing okay? Talk louder, she's over. Miss Samuela, you doing okay? And then left day. Okay, so we get medicine, we'll start an IV. Start the IV, we'll start. Okay, so this is. We need one, one milligram. One, one milligram. Yeah, we need one milligram of atropine. 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 Blood pressure is now 80 over 50. Blood pressure is 80 over 50. What do we need to decide? Oh, we need uh, saline. Normal so saline. Put down the chip. Put down the clipboard. Get that normal saline. So, no, no, no. Focus. Oh, so, no, no, no. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You focus on what you're doing. She can handle the bolus. Okay? Did you get the air out the, uh, the syringe? Go ahead and talk to the patient even if she's not responding. Talk to your patient even if she's not responding. Miss um, Miss Emma, so I'm gonna go ahead and give you this medication, okay? Okay. Go ahead and disconnect. Disconnect. Make sure your clamp is closed. Disconnect. Can we raise it up? Um, yes, I can take it to 60. Okay. All right, 95%. Good, okay. Keep checking on your patient. Okay. Can you say okay? Oh, she's 95%. So you gave your atropine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. What would be the anticipated effect if you gave atropine? What happens next? The... Well, you have to flush it. So go ahead and finish flushing it. But, but if we gave a medication, mm -hmm. remember our 10 rights of medication administration. You want the right response. Mm -hmm. What do you think the response should be? Checking the heart rate. You want the heart rate to do what? To go up. To go to up. Go up. Yeah. So anytime you give something, you want to check to see if it actually worked. It would be rare for you to be in a cold situation, charge nurse, and you don't have a well jet. <laughs> Good job. All right. Now, what else did we miss? Because her blood pressure is still 92 over 50. What do we have to do? Her blood pressure is still 92 over 50. We did uh, start oh. epinephrine. Uh -uh. What's not connected? The IV. IV. You IV. Need, you, I no, you gave the atropine, but yeah. the order was for more than atropine. What was the other order? Atropine, if it don't work, give another. No, nope. read your order. Where's your orders? Atropine, IV, push that. Your, 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 for five minutes. your order is on in the actual chart. I don't want to see your, your notes. I want to see the order. Read the orders to me. Uh, BMP, troponin, and magnesium. Oh, wait. Okay. If I start to atropine, start up an infusion. So go ahead and connect your fluids. So you gave your you gave your IV push. 
What are you, what are you missing, dear? Connect the phone. What's hanging? Oh, this, this one. Connect. Yeah. Okay, and now what rate are you infusing it at? What's the rate? 75 milliliters. What was the first order? 500 milliliter normal saline bolus of 30 minutes. Okay, all right, so we're going to pretend that's our normal saline, okay? okay. Because you wouldn't bolus somebody with D5W. What type of patient should be receiving D5W? A, di a diabetic, diabetic patient, patient who's NPO. Mm -hmm. Okay, because if we don't replace their sugar, they're going to be hypoglycemic. So during the cold you drip that we give would be normal saline. But after her normal saline, if she's a diabetic, we want to make sure that she, or she's going to be NPO, we want to make sure that she actually gets some dextrose. So that's why they did that. Reassess your patient, use your stethoscope. Okay, and so you're also going to be feeling for the um, radial pulse too while you're doing that. Okay. So that's the carotid okay. pulse. Ow. So we know she's alive. She's starting to respond more. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so radial pulse is here. Okay, and you're gonna do that for one full minute. And so when you're doing that, what are you checking for? Her heartbeat. What's special about the pulse? Before. So it should be faster, Trusta. but the pulse actually has characteristics like what? Bounding. Bounding, and so usually if the pulse is low or if she's um, dehydrated, it's gonna be weak. Mm -hmm. And so you would be checking to see if she had a stronger pulse at this point, okay? And so now her heart rate is 65. Go ahead and talk to her, reassess your patient, tell her to breathe in and breathe out. Go ahead and breathe in and breathe out. And you can take it um, out from there and just now go here. Go on the inside, there you go. Say breathe in. Breathe in and breathe out for me. Clear. Breathe in and breathe out for me. Good, 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 good. All right. Um, now ask her to squeeze your fingers. Can you squeeze my fingers? All right. And she's able to follow commands. Yes, ma'am. Right. How do you all feel? Better. How do you prevent a rearrest? How do you prevent her, not necessarily a rearrest, how do you prevent her from um, having another symptomatic bradycardia episode? What do you need to do? Monitor. You need to continue to monitor. So how frequently are you going to keep doing those vital signs? Every 15 minutes. Um, so usually about every five, okay. then every 10. So like, cause you probably right now, this is your main priority. Right. Until you can get her to her next destination. Okay. And so usually you can just go ahead and set the, um, your Dynamap, your blood pressure cuff. And there's nothing wrong with having it. Sometimes we'll have it going off every two minutes until they are stable. For me, stable is your heart rate's been greater than whatever, and now your blood pressure systolic is greater than 92, and it's still working its way up for about 15 minutes. Okay. And so then after every two minutes, then it'll be every five minutes, and then every 10, 15, 30, an hour, and probably by the end of your shift, that's when she can go back to Q4. But in your shift, she is now gonna be transferred. So I'm gonna give you all a few minutes. Whew because you have to give a report in five minutes. Look, we know that nursing school is tough. And now that you're a new nurse, it can feel like you don't know what you are doing. We've been there. Every nurse has. That's why at Florida Train Academy, we've created the Nursing Clinical Skills Lab, a safe place where new nurses and practicing nurses can boost their skills, build confidence, and thrive in their careers. You don't have to figure it out alone. We're here to support you every step of the way. Visit fltraining.com today and take your next step towards nursing success.